After decades of work, Warhorse Casino becomes the first licensed casino operator in Nebraska. Good evening, I'm Bill Shamert. Doors to the Lincoln Casino open at 10 a.m. tomorrow, and casino leaders say the great day of horse racing is coming back to the state. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McClune is in Lincoln with tonight's big story. Officials will drop the first dollar into a slot machine before they open doors here at Warhorse Casino Saturday morning, where officials say they cannot wait to keep the money in Nebraska. Congratulations. Smiles from Nebraska Racing Gaming Commissioners and applause from industry experts as Warhorse Casino LLC becomes the first authorized casino operator in Nebraska. It's a dream come true. It's the second best day of my life. Behind my son being born. Lynn McNally of Warhorse says she's worked 20 years for this moment. Commissioners shared their certificate with McNally and her right hand man, Lance Morgan. I think it's something that people are going to realize is a viable form of entertainment that's going to be good for the state and the economy. With 433 slot machines certified and secured, Morgan says Warhorse creates jobs, property tax relief, and tax revenue. <laughs> The sights, sounds, and excitement will soon come to Omaha. It should be next year. You know, we just need a little bit more time to get it going. It's gonna, with Lincoln, it was easier because it was a smaller facility uh, to just retrofit. With Omaha, we're gonna turn it into the full-blown casino. We're hoping to bring those great days of racing back. We, we cannot wait. For now, you can try your luck in Lincoln. Meanwhile, commissioners established the self-exclusion program. That's a preventative method to help people experiencing gambling addiction. You can find enrollment forms in our coverage at KETV.com. In Lincoln, Alex McLoon, KETV Newswatch 7.